So, you gonna tell me what that was about? They started it. Natalie was slagging me, call my mad junkie, and Lee was calling me Harry Potter. Well, that may be, but the only person I saw shouting and bawling was you. It was you through a jotter and you who pushed a chair. But sir... Sir, nothing. You've only been in my class for two days and already you're attracting a lot of attention. But sir, they were bullying me, laughing at me because I said I wanted to be a writer. It's your fault. It's my fault. No, sir, you were the one who asked us what we wanted to do. I only did what you asked and they were all ganging up on me because of it. You didn't even stop them. Look, Danielle, as your guidance teacher, I've got some notes from your last school and your children's panel. I know you moved about a lot, so maybe your other schools did it differently, but here you have to tell me if you're being bullied so I can deal with it. You can't take the law into your own hands. You were in the class when it happened. You told us to pick anything we wanted to be and then you didn't even defend me. Look, it was brave to get up and say you wanted to write, but I, I wanted people to take this seriously. What? I did? What? So you really want to be a writer? Danielle, I don't know how to say this, but... I don't know how realistic it is that you'll become a writer. Have, have you thought of something to support your family? Maybe something you could do with a SVQ or an NC? You have significant issues in your life. Your mum, your frequent school moves, I'm, I'm sorry to say, your temper. Maybe I can help you think about something more realistic. It's a bombshell to Danielle. She did not expect the conversation to go in this direction. 